Hi, let's talk about conflicts and conflict resolution. Well, conflicts, this is something uh, that no one really likes talking about, no one really likes conflicts, uh, or perhaps there are some people that like conflicts, but actually all the psychologists agree that in order for you to gain back your peace of mind, your sense of balance, stability, you really need to deal with conflicts, you really need to uh, deal with such situations. How do we deal with these situations? There are several scenarios, let's go through those scenarios. Uh, first of all, escaping. Yeah, you could escape. It's an emotional reaction. But again, conflict remains here unresolved. Do not think that you solved it. So this could be used as a tactic in the long-term strategy, but this is not a resolution at all. Uh, use if there is no other option possible. Fighting, yeah, you could fight. Uh, enter the fight if you think that you can win. Think of winning a war and not only a battle. A war, not only a battle. This is an important component. Think if you really win in the long term. Think how to win and keep that win. That's another important uh, issue there. If you are uh, more or less convinced that there are some chan there are chances that you could uh, win that situation, go ahead try to win and this is obviously a situation where you win your opponent loses that's the that's the uh, the hope that you have when you're entering the uh, conflict like that uh, giving up yeah giving up is another uh, strategy uh, uh, scenario let's put it this way um, you could use it as part of the long-term strategy use if cost of continuing conflict is higher than giving up and basically if you are choosing the, the, the least costly way the key thing there if you're giving up is to really reflect and learn reflect and learn on the situation this is the key thing there how not to be in the same situation in the future try to do that uh, what about some of the rational reactions that we have well uh, first one there is evading responsibility yep uh, very dangerous stance use only if it is not an important battle why it's dangerous because when you're delegating several responsibility to somebody uh, or or basically not deciding certain things and giving back giving uh, back in the hands of your i don't know colleagues management friends spouses then beware this is uncertainty uh, this is the situation where others will solve the situation somehow but maybe this is not what you wanted maybe this is not the the wisest solution so again be careful with this one use if there is no other option possible what about compromise well nothing is ideal but still better compromise is a great uh, thing to achieve but consider that you need to have quite some time and energy consider all the alternatives and the key there uh, for the compromise is really these the sacrifices that both parties are making uh, think of how you frame your position this is an, another very interesting and very important component uh, well compromise is a great thing I'm smiling right now because while it sounds like simple yeah, reach the compromise, but it takes so much time, energy, so many steps to go through. Uh, there is a, I mean, a whole separate topic and subject that we could uh, we could cover, and the hours and hours of discussions on how to reach that compromise and what is preventing us from reaching the compromise. So that's the topic for another another um, uh, video, probably. Now, reaching the consensus, how it's different from compromise. Uh, reaching the consensus uh, could be like a miracle. Yeah, it's miracle. Miracles, ha miracles happen sometimes. Uh, hard to find such miracles, but they do happen. This is that third way. That's something that you think together. And uh, you think together, no one has to sacrifice anything, and you find that fantastic, perfect solution when there is a certain way that you can go and reach the consensus. But again, it's very, very hard. Try if you really have plenty of time. Think of this model, think of this conflict resolution scenarios and think where do you uh, stand most often? Where, where are you in these uh, various uh, options to deal with the conflict? And always, when you are trying to deal with certain situation, think of what kind of uh, uh, opponent you have. What is the most frequent tactics? What is the most frequent uh, profiles that uh, or, or scenarios that this opponent is using so try to match those try to uh, think rationally in there think of this model in terms of the uh, mind map think of it in terms of really understanding where do you stand in certain situations what is your most pre frequent tactics and options that you use uh, this is not something of a formula but it can help us 
understanding how we deal with certain situations and uh, if we for example see that we are escaping certain situations uh, we're escaping most of the conflicts or we are evading responsibility then we need to really think uh, think of those conflicts that we we, we have unresolved think how how should we uh, finally deal with those and again as the psychologists say and recommend we really need to deal with those otherwise those are unresolved those are on our shoulders and there is nothing good out of that so good luck and uh try to really deal with the situations face the situations and get the best that you can cheers